Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Be A Creative. I am trying something a little different today. I am not voice overing, doing a voiceover for, what is the correct verbiage for that? I am not going to be doing a voiceover for the let me show you what we need portion of this video. I'm doing this live and then I'm gonna switch to the voiceover uh, when we start working on our project. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you prefer it this way. And I'm actually doing this at the end of the video because I realize that I don't show you guys everything that I use uh, because I forget or I get caught up in the moment. And uh, yeah, so I have everything that we need and I do have a finished project, but through the power of technology, you guys wouldn't have known that if I hadn't just told you. Anyway, okay, so this is what we're making today. Um, I call this my break the glass letter uh, in case of emergencies. This is something that I do uh, when I know that I'm probably going to need it. It's a coping skill. I think I've mentioned in some of my other videos that I'm in grad school. I am very close to uh, finishing my master's degree in clinical mental health counseling and I've been working in the mental health field for about 10 years and this is just a tool that I use to help me deal with my anxiety and what it is is an emergency letter that I have written to future Shannon uh, I'm not going to read you the back because that's just my feelings um, on a tag that I made and I put it in an envelope like so, I seal it up and then I put it someplace uh, where it's readily available or I carry it with me so that in a moment of panic or when my anxiety is really kicking in, I can read the letter uh, and hear the message that I need to hear from the person that I'm probably gonna receive it from myself uh, the most. So again, this is just what I do it's just one of the many tools I have in my toolbox. This in no way is meant to supplement uh, professional mental health care or support from professional or licensed mental health providers or doctors. I cannot stress that enough. This is just a tool that I use that I thought going into 2020, I would share. Um, if you like it, you know, let me know. I, if it helps, I would love to know that. If it's crap, you don't need to share that. Just, you can keep that to yourself. Um, or if you have ideas to make it better, let me know too in the comments. I'd really like to hear from you guys. Like, come on, comment. I know people are watching the videos, which I also want to take this opportunity to thank you for that, for taking the time out of your busy day to watch my little rambling videos. I hope you guys are enjoying them. I'm really having a lot of fun doing them. So thank you very much for your time. All right, that's enough about my feelings and things. So this is what we're going to need. Some stays on ink and I used Tempera Brown and Jet Black, not because of any particular reason. Those are just really the only colors I have and I tend to use those a lot. We're gonna need some washi tape. I just have various ones in various different colors. Um, an assortment of adhesives. I think you guys could probably play a drinking game if you watch my videos, like take a shot every time uh, I used a different type of glue. I just, I just have a lot of glue. You, you guys know I like glue. I can't help it. I have a whole adhesive bucket. You're gonna need some gelatos. And oh, these are the colors that I used. Uh, metallic mint. Um, what is this? What the crap is this? I don't know, it doesn't have a name on it. It's made in China though. Oh, metallic melon. Um, lemon. And iced currant. Use those. I also use this off-brand gelato. It's by Bray Reese. Uh, and what I'm assuming is, we're just gonna call this hot pink. That's what we're gonna call that. I use my uh, Vicky Booten. That's how you say her last name. If it's not, totally sorry. Uh, white oil pastel. I use some Posca pens in these colors, yellow, white, and black. I also use a little bit of acrylic paint in white. You'll see why later. 
I used some deli paper with the Dina Wakely stencils, Interesting Faces, and I Spill. These are the stamp sets that I used. And I stamped on deli paper. You'll see that. God, I'm giving away spoilers. That sucks. I'm sorry. You are going to need an envelope. Now, you can leave it blank if you want. Um, or you can gel print. This is just one I was just pulling around on. You're also going to need uh, some previously made or make one special for this project. You do you. Uh, tags, because on the back, that's where we're going to write our little message. I also used a variety of collage pieces. There's some Jane Davenport, uh, some random book pages. I used a little bit of that. And I used magazines. Um, I clipped out my message. Um, these are just magazines that I got at the thrift store for a gel printing project that I'm having mixed results on. Um, Cause I wanted it to be kind of like hostage-like because sometimes I think our feelings hold us hostage. So I wanted to take that and do something positive with it. Like, ha, take that feeling, <laughs> hold me hostage. So I used it for the sentiment, this will fade. Uh, Cause that's, that's a message that I know I need to hear when I'm in those heavy moments where it feels like um, this is it. This is as good as it gets and it's never gonna get any better. So I, I need to hear that message. And on the front, um, in case of emergencies. So I wanted it to look a little ransomy. I think I accomplished that. So we're gonna go and start making our break the glass letter. Again, I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, let's get this party started. Okay, so we're gonna start by making our focal point on our tag. And I am going to use uh, that Dina Wakely face from the Interesting Faces stamp. And I'm gonna stamp directly onto the deli paper with stays on ink. If you stamp on the deli paper, it will work the same as if you were stamping on like expensive collage paper. So if you can't get your hands on that, just remember that. Um, it just works exactly the same with uh, gel medium or Mod Podge or something like that. But before we get that glue down, we need to push back that tag. That tag is a little crazy. So I'm just using my finger with some white acrylic paint and I'm just slapping on some white. I need some white spots. I It's just too busy otherwise. Once that's dried, I am using the Distress Collage Medium to glue the paper down. And here you can see it is reacting the exact same way. I'm also going to use that Distress Collage Medium to glue down the Jane Davenport collage napkins, which if you've never used those, those are really great. They're super thin. You do have to take the back off though, otherwise it'll be a little too thick and you won't see it. It won't like collage like how it's supposed to, but I love those napkins. I'm also adding some random pieces of tissue paper that a friend of mine gave me that I've been kind of hoarding. I've been saving them for something special. I just need some texture. The gel plated tag had a lot of color, but it didn't really have a lot of texture to it um, because of the way that I gel printed it. And I believe I used regular acrylic paints with uh, scribble sticks, with what scribble sticks I was experimenting. So I put some texture down and now I just want some really big pops of color. And that's what those napkins were. Now we're, I'm basically just putting a wash of glue over the front of the envelope so that I can get the, in case of emergencies, uh, glue down. And I literally just sat for like an hour and cut out uh, letters and words from various magazines that I had. It was actually really enjoyable and I wound up cutting out a whole bunch of different words that I liked that I used um, for some future projects. Now we're going to add our gelatos, not that one. Uh, that looked like crap so we just covered that up with some white, <laughs> some, some white paint. <laughs> Just do that. If you don't like it, just cover everything. White paint covers a multitude of sins. I added all of this part in now. Like I didn't, I didn't add it in, sorry. I didn't edit it out because one, I was kind of proud of myself for using my gelatos for something other than just edging my tag. And I've been practicing shading faces with them because I think that modeled look looks amazing um, on faces. I, I love faces. So I've been practicing, and I think using stamps that already have the shading 
in is a really good way to learn where the shading is supposed to go. How many times am I going to say shading, Shannon? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> it's a good way to learn where to put the color to make the face look more realistic. Now I'm going around the head with that Vicky Booten oil pastel and I like using an oil pastel for this because it smudges really nice and it creates this really stylized look. I just needed the her face to pop a little bit more. Speaking of popping, that was a nice segue, I'm going to edge the whole tag in a black line with my black Posca pen and it just gives this nice little frame that's not overwhelming. Now we're going to add our sentiment, and the sentiment is this will fade because that's what I need to hear in those moments. Um, that's the message that comforts me. I get caught up and feel like that how I'm feeling is going to last forever, so I need to remind myself that it's temporary. Really liking the looks of that. So while all that dries from all that glue, we're going to go back and start working on our envelope again, which is dry, and I need the in case of emergencies to pop. It's kind of blending in with the, the jelly plate envelope. So I'm using the white Posca pen, but that white, I really struggle with white. Like it's just not white enough for me. So I'm going back over it again with uh, the yellow Posca pen on the outside of the white line. So it, it looked nice. I liked that. Now, because I need more color, right? Like, that's just crazy. I'm adding in some washi tape. I really wanted the envelope to look a little banged up, like maybe it had been through the ringer. And I think the washi tape makes it look like I've purposely, you know, I'm using washi to hold it together. And that's just a mixture of Dina Wakely washi and uh, some off-brand. I think I got it Michael's. The uh, the black, though, because I need, I need that neutral, I need to bring some of that down. And because I put it on the envelope, I also want to add some of that onto the tag so it kind of maybe looks like it goes together. And I'm just, oh, I was so crazy about how that looked with the black washi hearts. Like, I got so excited. I was like, yes, this is amazing. Maybe I should have anxiety all the time just so I can look at it. No, I'm just joking. That was, I'm not doing that. <laughs> So I'm going around the sentiment with that yellow Posca pen again because I really liked how it looked on the tag and it just it just looks great. So this is when I add my message to myself. I'm not going to read you what I wrote because it's it's very unique to the individual but write what you need to hear in those moments. Some people need to be validated and just listen to other people need solutions so write what you need to hear to feel better write it in your own words while quotes are wonderful it's better if it comes in your own words because that's how you'll receive it and that's how that's really how you'll hear it um, and it be most be the most effective way to help you cope I as much as I love the tag I know it it really needs something so I just pulled out a uh, previously stamped uh, heart. That's from the Dina Wakely heart set. I've been sitting on that for months and I added some of that pink knockoff gelato and I really really wanted to put that on the tag because I think the tag was like it was almost done. It just needed something but I didn't want to cover up all my pretty background and the heart looked great but mm, I decided to put it on the envelope because I really liked the heart once I was done with that. I knew that I wanted that too so Instead of forcing it on the tag and covering up some of that envelope, or excuse me, some of that tag, I put it on the envelope. And I think actually it finished the envelope. It's perfect. I love it. But the tag still feels unfinished. So I went to the I Spill stamp set, and there's like this squiggly, wordy thing. I don't know what that is. It was the first time I used it, so I stamped off on some scrap paper to see what it looked like. Uh, fell in love with it and decided, oh my gosh, this has got to go on everything now. This is this is amazing little stamp. So that's what I did. And because I like to do everything in threes, because I think it just looks better, I stamped uh, that stamp three times. So we are all done. It's finished. That's uh, the finished project. It's all dried. So I'm just going to make sure that I put it into the, put it into the envelope because it is not there. Like, I mean, you can't use it. And I want to I wanna seal the envelope. 
but I also want to make sure that I can get into it. So I'm, I'm just going to cover up the back with some washi tape. If you don't want to leave the back blank, you can totally gel print that or put washi. Do whatever you want on the back. This is your envelope. This is, this is your message to yourself. Just make sure you can get into it <laughs> when you need to hear it. So that's it. That's our break the glass letter. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.